Hello, I am YF Gaming and in this video is the level up guide for Assassin's Cross. I've been playing and making guides of Ragnarok Origin since the first day of its official release on Korea server. You can also check the other level up guides in the video description or you can also browse in my YouTube channel. And yeah, without further ado, let's begin. On your first day, all you need to do is just do all the main quests. And at level 30, you'll start to notice this green icon beside your HP, and that is the combat time of the game. And each day, you can consume up to 120 minutes or 2 hours to gain experience. Also on your first day, you need to find party and hunt Mocha. On your second day, you can change up to assassin. And you need to decide your character setup. There are 4 current builds for Assassin, and you already saw that in the video introduction. In my honest opinion, if you're a free-to-play player, then go for Grimtooth build because you just need to focus one weapon, while the other build you need to focus two weapons. Grimtooth is an AoE skill and that's good for grinding, while if you're using dual dagger, you can only focus one monster. If you decide to choose dual dagger build, the downside is you need to refine two weapons. But the good thing is you can equip four different weapon cards. So if you're going to choose the dual dagger build, my best suggestion is to find a party for grinding because you can only kill one monster at a time. Another thing is poison property deals 25% more damage on earth, fire, water, and wind properties. So my advice is you hunt where you can have your advantage. At level 55, you can start hunting with General, and you can stay here up to level 62. At level 55, you can also unlock the Vare score, and I suggest that you use the Grimtooth boost to increase the damage of your Grimtooth. At level 62, start hunting Orc Skeleton. And for efficient grinding, you need to use your Healer Mercenary as a decoy, because Grimtooth AoE is just 3 meters radius. At level 70, you can finally change up to Assassin Cross. And my weapon recommendation is this Fire Spirit Qatar. While equipping this weapon, your default neutral attribute will change to Fire Attribute. So you don't have to use Converter every time you hunt Earth Property Monsters. For dual daggers, you just have to upgrade your Sandstorm weapon. And if you notice these two daggers, this is the combo weapons for Soul Breaker build. At level 70, start hunting ground pitit, and you can still use your mercenary as a decoy. And you can stay here up to level 80 until you can make your armor set. At level 80, you can make the tier set. And the name of this armor set might be different on North America server or C server, but I'm pretty sure that the effect will be the same. For Soul Breaker build, I suggest Princep because you need to increase both physical and magical attack to increase the damage of your Soul Breaker. At level 80, you can start hunting Marionette. It has low HP so you can easily kill it. Another thing is the crit type Grimtooth is not available in the early stage of the game, so you will definitely wait until they release Core Arc. Okay, so that's all for now. See you in the next video. You can also check my other level up guide in the video description. I'm out and peace out.